Engineering and IT, this sector provides a fascinating range of jobs and opportunities for graduates nowadays. I'm here today to meet the head of Aerodynamics. Hi, Jason. Hi, Bob. How are you? How are you? Yeah, fine, thank you. Good. Now, tell me, a name like Jason Somerville sounds like you should be a, a Hollywood actor. So what was your childhood dream? Well, as a, as a boy, I was an absolute car obsessive. I was forever drawing and, and playing. Um, I found that through, through my studies, I would focus on the maths and physics and the sciences. From that, um, the big difficulty then becomes finding a, a break in motor racing. Um, although you come away from university with a strong degree, okay, I'm ready, I'm ready to go and make the world a faster place with, with my, all my knowledge. But getting someone to back you at that early stage of your career is really what the next big challenge. And is that person the, the greatest person who has influenced your career, and who is it? Certainly my father was probably the, the guiding influence in, in the whole car thing. He was very much a car, no sport. Well, I think in terms of my Williams career, um, a guy by the name of John Russell, who was um, looking after the motorsport programme at that point, he was a very clever engineer. He gave me, again, a lot of scope to, to work. We had a very quick car, which was the first of the Williams BMW sports cars. Um, and from that, the opportunity came up on the F1 side, um, working for Patrick Head and, and the BMW-powered Williamses of the uh, early 2000s. And that moment when you were transferred basically from the sports car program to the Formula One program, was that a sort of major breakthrough for you? It was a real um, deep breath moment. Am I ready for this? Can I contribute? Can I, am I good enough for the Formula One side? Yeah, um, because at the time, the Formula One team was a fair bit bigger than the sports car, which was pretty much a, an aero department of two. Um, aero departments have grown massively since then, you don't see CFD as being a major rival of aerodynamics, especially given the, the cost of a wind tunnel, etc. We couldn't design the F1 car now without CFD, but I would still add that we probably couldn't design the car without a wind tunnel. So they're very much complementary. And if we can go back a little bit, when did you make that decision that you wanted to go into aerodynamics and what, what made that decision for you? <laughs> It is one of the areas where there is a lot of car performance to be had. I don't think that will change unless we can start to race in a vacuum somewhere, so we will always have aerodynamics of some form. And it just struck me as being the area where I could make a contribution. Um, I do, I'm quite a creative, naturally a creative sort of person, so it's an area where you can make a difference aesthetically and performance-wise. So how big is your team? Can you give some indication of that? Copy that, we're racing him. The team, we've really split the team. We have the, the model making and the, um, the test engineers or the test um, um, technicians who provide the support for the wind tunnel and for the wind tunnel model. And we have the engineering support of which there is approximately 60 of us who would be looking after the design of the car, everything from the design through to the CFD, through to the analysis of the data, through to the track support. So yeah, the aerodynamics engineering team is around about 60. That number of people is amazing, 60 people. I'm intrigued that you said the drivers there. How much can the drivers influence the aerodynamics? Can they actually tell you this was doing such and such? Uh, it's interesting say. because the, 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 both of our drivers, Felipe and Valtteri, have got fantastic feedback. And in all of that, the driver is feeling something. Now, the aerodynamics does play a big role. And we're trying continually to try and refine that so we can understand what it is that they're feeling and how can we put a, a, a parameter in the wind tunnel which can address any deficiencies. Jason, what one piece of advice would you give to youngsters wanting to come into the industry? Do as much as you can to give yourself the best possible chance of getting a foot in the door. So by that, design your car at home on, on your CAD system and do some CFD at home or if you want to become a race engineer then Go and help out with the Formula Ford at weekends. Get as much relevant experience because it certainly makes a difference when you're assessing CVs. Thank you very much indeed, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thank you.